Okay, you guys, chapter 11, we're going to talk about vapor pressure and solids. We're kind of um, going all over the place with this chapter, but vapor pressure and solids. And the first thing we're going to talk about is vapor pressure. Okay, and um, vapor pressure. And this diagram here talks about boiling point and what boiling point is. Um, and why boiling point is what it is. And it says the boiling point of a liquid is the temperature at which its vapor pressure equals atmospheric pressure. The normal boiling point is the temperature at which vapor pressure is 760 torr. So you've got um, three different liquids that they're showing here. And um, for this first one in red, well first of all what you need to know is right here it's 760 torr, which is also one atmosphere. That is normal, it's standard pressure, okay? So the normal boiling point for each of these is right here across this line, okay? Anything not on that line, it will still boil at, but it boils at a different pressure, okay? So as your pressure um, increases, the temperature at which it boils increases, okay? Okay, so next up is a video on um, vapor pressure in a closed container. Um, hopefully the volume will be okay on it. Uh, all right, here it goes. This is an apparatus for measuring the vapor pressure of a liquid at a given temperature. The U-tube attached to the glass contains liquid mercury, which is used to measure a change in pressure. What happens at the molecular level during evaporation? In the beginning, the traffic is only one way. Molecules are moving from the liquid to the empty space. Soon, the molecules in the space above the liquid establish a vapor phase. As the concentration of molecules in the vapor phase increases, some molecules return to the liquid phase, a process called condensation. Okay, so I want to show you that the um, molecules that they're talking about within the vapor phase are these guys up here, okay? And so you've got some that went up here into the vapor phase, and that's what they're talking about right now. And we'll continue on. Oops. And we'll continue on. Leaving the liquid is equal to the number of molecules returning to the liquid. A state of dynamic equilibrium is reached as the rates of evaporation and condensation become equal. The difference in mercury level, represented by H, is the equilibrium vapor pressure of the liquid at the given temperature. Okay, so now... Okay, I want you guys to uh, pause the video now and go back to your Google Docs and open the links. There's three um, links that I want you to go through on solids and um, play those and then come back to the video and finish the... Um... Dino Paganelli, please call 2001. Dino Paganelli, please call 2001. And finish the stuff... Um, finish up the solids with the video. Okay? See you back here in a few minutes. Okay, so now those were ionics. We need to talk about covalent network molecular solids. And um, this first one that they show here is diamond. And they're an example of a covalent solid and they're bonded to each other. See how you've got actual lines here bonding these together. They tend to be hard and have high melting points. Think about a diamond, okay? They're hard and have very high melting points. Now, we're going to compare that to um, a graphite, okay, which is also carbon, but take a look at it. 
Um, the graphite here, it says, has, um, they're held together by Van der Waals forces, which, as you remember, is an intermolecular Euler force, okay? And as you know, intermolecular forces, which are, they're showing them right here, it's not really an actual bond, it's more of an attraction, okay? Um, those are much weaker than the covalent bonds that we saw in this guy, all right? Okay, and then metallic solids, um, they're not covalently bonded, and the attractions between them are much stronger than Van der Waals. So they kind of just look like this with a delocalized electron, which means the electrons are just hanging out and they're delocalized. There's not, they're kind of buzzing around um, as they go. Okay, that's it for tonight. See you tomorrow.